In this video segment, we will cover the necessary steps for configuring SQCPAC users and user roles. Doing so will ensure only authorized personnel can work with various levels of the program. First, what's the difference between users and user roles? As you might guess, users are the people working with your SQCPAC database. Each user will have a unique login and password to gain access to this database. User roles are the access rights or privileges that you grant to a user. Think of user roles as templates that can be applied to one or many of your users so that you don't have to configure each user's rights separately. Let's first look at user roles. From the application menu, select user roles. By default, new databases come preloaded with a set of user roles. You can add new by clicking new, or you can edit an existing user role by clicking edit. For each activity in a user role, there are various levels of access that can be customized, such as view, modify, create, delete, or all for each of these user rights. You'll see here that the data entry user role has far less privileges than the manager user role. We recommend that you customize these user roles to what makes most sense in your organization. Once our roles are configured, we can begin adding users to this SQC PAC database. Again, from the application menu, now select Users. From the ribbon, click New for each user you wish to add to this database. Assign them a username, give them a password, then assign a user role to them. This user will use the data entry user role. If you're using divisions, this is where you choose which division they belong to. Do they have access to all divisions or do they only deserve access to plant A groups and charts? or plant B groups and charts or all. For this one, I will choose plant A. The final step is to begin requiring user login for this database. From the application menu, choose login and audit settings. Click the require user login button and save and exit. From this point forward, users will be required to log in. They will only see data assigned to their division or divisions and they will be restricted to the access granted to them by their assigned user role. And that's all it takes to safeguard your database with user login and user roles.